Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Wednesday, November 25th of 2020. In today's culture, a name doesn't really carry much more than a meaning that just identifies an individual. But in the beginning, a name was more than that. The name said something about who you were. For example, when Jacob was born, he was given the name which implied a crafty deceiver. And that's how he lived for a while. But when he wrestled with the angel of the Lord, he received a new name, Israel, which means he struggles with God. And when the angel of the Lord visited Mary, he said to name the baby Jesus, for he shall save his people. And simply put, Yeshua means the Lord is salvation. When it comes to the Word of God, a name carries more than just a moniker or ID. It provided insight to what and who the person was all about. So today, this morning's prayer confesses the necessity of knowing what is in the name. Father, How great is it to be in your presence? And actually, Father, that is a statement more than it is a question. For you are so good to me. I will pursue you all the days of my life. But that has not always been the case. Yes, I've come a great distance since the days of my youth when I gave so very little thought to you. But now I know I must gear all of my thoughts toward you. This is where my strength lies. This is where I find peace. This is where my provision is stored and where my future is determined. I've called you my source, and you say this is rightly spoken. I have referred to you as my strong tower, and again, you have confirmed that this is correctly identified. I have recalled all of the attributes found in your word and can confidently testify that they are accurate and true. These things have shaped me into the person that I have now become. Father, in your realm, a name is given due to the actions or attributes that accompany a being. You are Yehovah Rapha because you heal all our sicknesses and diseases. You are called Yehovah Shalom because of the overwhelming peace that covers any situation. You are El Shaddai due to the abundant provision you offer in meeting my needs. These are the things that have brought me to you, Father, not because of them independently, but because I have come to know and to trust their source. You, Father, are that source. It is you where I place my trust. According to your word, this is the mark of a life well lived. I will not turn to the left or to the right. My goal is to continue on in my journey, calling upon you daily, even multiple times daily, for your direction and for your comfort and for your instruction. Yes, as for me and my house, Father, we shall serve you, Lord. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.